How can we use the arts to change our culture? That's what I'm going to talk about today with an actress, a writer, a producer of lots of great things, a real talented woman. You may have seen her on CBS's The Imposters or on AMC in turn, but if you saw The War Room, you will definitely recognize Miss Clara. Karen Abercrombie is with me. Karen, so good to have you. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. So, where do we even start? Let's talk about the thing that people will probably recognize, which is War Room. Yes. What was that? Was that just a great experience? I mean, it had it to It was been, an right? amazing experience, a beautiful story, um, but amazing on so many levels, even how I became a part of it. But um, even more so, uh, a movie about prayer, but Every day we gathered, um, the writers, directors, the, the crossing guard, anybody that had anything to do with the movie, we gathered together and we had breakfast together. And then we would pray and we would, um, everybody would take turns uh, doing a devotion. And all the while we were filming, there were uh, groups of churches that had been set aside to pray for us so we prayed we were covered in prayer from start of the role of the camera to the very end so, so now, we were bathed in prayer a lot of actors that would be completely foreign to them but not for you well interesting i had done a few things in hollywood and elsewhere and no there was never any prayer unless you or maybe yeah, right. another christian actor got together right. and prayed but no this was new for me and it was amazing but you, did you grow you grew up in the church yes well interesting I, yes i did okay my parents uh weren't saved um both parents were alcoholics mother was also a drug addict mm. but i had an aunt who was on fire still is she's 90 on fire for god and um i got saved one day at her house she had a ministry uh the sunshine band where she would take her little board and the people you know the flannel board take the people and go into the different neighborhoods and teach children about the love of christ mm. And um, I gave my life to Christ at that time and uh, became very involved in yeah. the church. But I did walk away when I became did. a teenager. Oh, yeah. 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 What mm -hmm. brought you back? I, I, I always felt God's arms wrapped around me. And um, I was always in communication with him. And I just started walking back. You know, in my early 20s, just started walking back and I uh, rededicated my life, uh, was baptized again, and um, I've been growing, yeah. you know, closer ever yeah. since. Yeah. Let's shift gears a little bit because I know you give me, give the audience a little bit of an idea of all the different things you do from New York to LA and everywhere in between. Well, um, I, I do some writing, I've done some television, I go back and forth quite a bit right now between um, North Carolina, New York, and Los Angeles. Uh, as an actress, I'm a brand new producer, I started a uh, production company called uh, Tapestry Entertainment, and I named it Tapestry because you know how that thread just runs through that fabric? Well, there is a thread that connects all of us. We all have common threads, and I believe that um, through good, um, uplifting, powerful, loving, hope-filled entertainment, we can just start to weave the world back together with good messages and love, you know, common, common stories. A, a lot of people would say, and, and they have reason to, that we have, as Christians have somewhat lost the, the arts and the culture because of, we, in a lot of ways, I know we've, it seems like we've been reclaiming it lately, frankly. Yes. But for, for a period there, I mean, it's pretty rough, you know? And even right now, there's not, if you watch television, you know, you, you can go to a Christian film, yes, and those are better, and more, right. there's more of them. Right. But there's still sort of this, you know, the Christian media is over here, and then the rest of television, you know, MTV to The Bachelor and Oh my gosh. Oh, oh absolutely, absolutely. But things are changing. And you would think that um, we as Christians would have had a, 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 a bigger place 
in, in, in the entertainment world, you know, right. in films and such, especially, I mean, we belong to the creator. He has blessed us mm -hmm. to be creative, but um, we have taken a back seat. So but, how do you change, how, what are you doing to change all that? Um, producing. Good. Writing. Good. Good, encouraging, uplifting, thought-provoking pieces where um, sometimes uh, you, you, you're you sitting in front of these uh, particular projects and you can say, oh yes, that's definitely Christian, family friendly, Christian. And then some, you will see the thread of God in mm -hmm. it. I like that. You know, more. A little more subtle. Subtle, yeah. yes, 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 yes. And sometimes, many times, that is the way to get someone to just drop their guard and listen to a good story. Right and right. then get the message behind the message, right. in the message, mm -hmm. you know, instead of hitting them over the head with a Bible. Yeah. What's next on your radar, um, acting, well, acting wise? Acting wise, I have been sent uh, several scripts that I am going through, trying yeah. to make some decisions okay. on. What's, what now, what's coming up? Because isn't there something that's coming up that you're a TV show that you're in that is not out oh, yet? Oh, 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 this might be an animated, uh, television series, a uh, uh, Christian children's uh, project that's called Nana Kay and the Bible Quilt. I am the voice of Nana Kay. Nice. Yeah, and it's, it's a wonderful uh, project, wonderful project. You got a lot going on. I do, and, and it's a good time. It is a good time. What do you tell those young kids that are wanting to get into the entertainment industry that are Christians? I would tell them what I've learned. Uh, when I went out to Hollywood, I had God right here and right here. And I would take a director or a producer and I would put them right there. Mm. Once you put God in his rightful place and leave him there, <laughs> let him be the Lord of all, then things will change for you. And you'll come to better understand who you are as you come to let him be God and understand better who he is. But if you're going to make it in Hollywood, you got to keep that quiet, right? You know what? Times are a changing. <laughs> Good. And um, like I said before, you don't have to hit anybody over the head with sure. it. but. If they see you acting differently, if your light is shining, then they will be curious. They're taking note. Mm -hmm. And then just, just that, standing in it, walking in it, um, is attractive. The light, the pure light, it is attractive. And then that can open up some, some dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. But no, you don't have to be afraid of who you are. Yeah. A friend of mine who's out there, uh, I said, hey, how do you handle that? And he said, well, I mean, I don't hide it, but I let them ask. Yes. And I said, but do you, does your life make them ask? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? They and see that, you so that's the question. When, they, when, they, when, it does, when it does, when it does, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, yes. it does. Good, yes. good stuff. Okay, is there a website or someplace you got stuff going on? Oh, yes, my website, www.karenabercrombie.com. Okay, and that's got all your production stuff, projects, absolutely, and resume. Absolutely, and absolutely. So all the casting directors watching this interview, there you go, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Great to have you. I appreciate your time. I love what you're doing because I love grateful to be the here. Thank television, you. film, the arts, writing, all that stuff. So I am so encouraged to see somebody doing good work in that area. So oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank if you. If you want to learn more about Karen, uh, see more of her on Life Today, you can watch her with my parents on the broadcast program. That's available at lifetoday.org. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If 